What's happening guys? Mike from Metacomics coming at you with another prediction video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And before I get started, i got to apologize right off the bat for all that racket in the background. My wife's doing some laundry and uh, so, you know, the washing machine is going right now. My office is in my basement, so that's where I make all my content. Uh, it's where I work during the day for my journalist stuff. So I'm kind of stuck next to the washer and dryer, and you know, you just got to learn to deal with it. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. So anyway, I want to talk a little bit today about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie and my predictions for whether or not it's going to be successful at the box office or it's going to tank, if it's going to suck or be awesome, and all that good stuff. So. Let's begin, shall we? Now, this has probably been one of the most controversial um, kind of comic bookish type movies. It's, you know, it's obviously it's more related to comic or to cartoons and comic books because of the success of the cartoon. Although anybody who's a true, genuine Turtles fan knows right off the bat that the Turtles started off as a comic book. And actually, how the comic book got started was uh, Kevin Eastman and his friend. I don't remember his name. We're basically bouncing ideas off each other, trying to figure out who could come up with the most ridiculous idea for comic book characters. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was born. Um, a lot of people are insulting this movie because of you know, different factors, but the thing I see the most is, Oh, it's Michael Bay! Oh, it's a Michael Bay movie! It's gonna suck! This old California surfer dude thing. I don't know. Anyway, yes. Let's talk about the Michael Bay thing for just a second. Okay, yes, Michael Bay does suck when it comes to making story-based, story-driven, character-driven movies. He's an action guy, blow stuff up, that kind of thing. That's what he's good at. He's not good at character development and building stories that, you know, impact people's lives, whether for good or for bad. You know, that's not the kind of thing that he does. He's an action guy. Um, with that being said... Michael Bay is not directing the movie. He's producing. Big difference. Yes, it's got some of his fingerprints on it. Some of the visual style you could tell is Michael Bay. But a lot of the story and whatnot seems to be pretty good, and I doubt that it came from Michael Bay's hands. So I think before we just write this off because it's the cool in thing to do to hate Michael Bay right now, uh, I think we ought to just give it a chance, let the movie come out, and then decide. Because, in all honesty, from the trailers and the clips that I've seen, this movie looks awesome. I mean, <laughs> represent the turtles, yo. Uh, it looks great. I think it's going to be a lot better than what people think it's going to be. I, it, it seems to me that they've captured the essence of all the characters. Uh, and the personalities from the clips and things that I've seen. Michelangelo's hilarious. Uh, Raphael is, you know, pissed as usual. Uh, Leonardo seems to think he's the boss. I mean, it, you know, and you got Donatello's the nerdy guy. I mean, they got it all. They nailed this stuff really, really well. So I think that this movie is going to do much better than what people think it's going to be. That being said, it doesn't mean that I think this movie is going to be freaking the most awesome thing ever. I don't know. I think one of the challenges that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles faces is pleasing an audience of 30 year olds like myself who grew up on the original Turtles cartoon from the late 80s, early 90s, and that's kind of our standard. You know, and we had the original movies, and that's kind of our standard for uh, the Turtles, you know, for their look, everything. So it's really hard to please this, this group, my, the group that I belong to, the, the demographic, uh, because we're just natural-born whiners. We are. We complain about everything. It's just kind of in the blood. Um, yeah, it's a challenge to get anything that would please us. Even if they would have done the turtles exactly like they were uh, back in the back in the day, I mean, people would have complained about something. I mean, they would just find something. And again, just because Michael Bay's name's attached to it would probably be sufficient enough. Um, one of the other challenges I think this faces is the time that it's going to be released. This movie comes out a week after Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know whose bottom line this is going to affect the most. But this is going to be a really big showdown in, in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, their second week. Um, if they can maintain the top spot, even with the Ninja Turtles coming out, I would say that's a huge, huge victory. 
even though people seem to hate on Michael Bay, his movies are incredibly popular and they do very well at the box office. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, who's going to come ahead in this battle. You know, um, I, if if Guardians beats out TMNT for the top spot in the second week, I think it's safe to say that Marvel is, is on to something here with the cosmic storyline and, you know, the introduction to their cosmic characters. Um, if it doesn't beat it out, I don't know. Either the Turtles was really good or maybe Guardians wasn't as good as what people thought. I don't know. All I know is, is from what I have seen so far, I really like it. Now, I wasn't wild about the way the Turtles look either. I'll be honest. I'll be the first to admit that I was a whiner on that one too. Um, you know, it just looks kind of strange with the lips and the nose. But when you go and actually look at pictures of real turtles, that's what they look like. So I, I get that they were going for a more realistic approach uh, to their aesthetic. So I'm okay with that, you know, whatever. And the more I'm seeing it, the more it's kind of growing on me. Still looks strange to me, and the height and their, their overall size is a little strange, but it looks like they're going to explain why they're so big in the movie itself, because they were created to be heroes, is what I'm gathering from the trailers. So, you know, but who sets the standard for what a ninja turtle is supposed to look like? It's a freaking turtle that's mutated. The, it go, you know, the turtles go through different incarnations uh, every few years, so this is this generation's turtles and I think we ought to just let it be and not gripe too much about that unless it detracts from the story now you don't have to like it but you don't have to necessarily sit there and whine like a four year old either which is what I mostly see people doing on the internet then again that's how people act on the internet so I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise at all uh, that being said I think it's going to make pretty good money um, it looks like a really good fun summer action movie even if the storyline's not really that great um, so I think it's going to bring in some, some major bucks. I don't know if it'll bring in Transformers type of money, you know, or Captain America 2 money. But I know that it will be successful in some regards. And I guarantee that we'll probably end up seeing some sequels here in the near future. Um, all right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this movie. Do you guys think it's going to bomb? Do you think it's going to do well? What are your predictions for the new Teenage Mutant... Teenage... I can't talk. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Leave your comments down below. See you guys in the next one.